What is crackalackalackin? My fellas, this tutorial I'm going to do the Tonju and then Nishandra because you kind of have to do Tonju to get to Nishandra, so it just kind of makes sense to do them both in one video. And I shouldn't need to do multiple demonstrations unless I get really meme RNG. But there's a lot of different ways to approach these two bosses. Um, some runners like Sudo use Keyblade for both Throne Duo and Chandra, and then other runners like Nick use both Rapier for Throne Duo and Chandra. Personally, for Scholar, I think the plus 10 Rapier is optimal for the Throne Duo, and the Keyblade is optimal for Nishandra. For Throne Duo, it's more up in the air, because with some RNG, the Rapier is going to be better, because it's got higher DPS when dealing with one of the members of the duo. For other RNG, the Keyblade will be better because they'll group up and you can get hits on both of them at once and it'll be slightly faster. So it's it's a toss up. Just find out which one you prefer. Do some practice with both. I'm going to demonstrate the Rapier because I have done no practice with the Keyblade in a very long time. I don't plan to. And I'll demonstrate the Keyblade for Nishandra so I can get the one beam Nishandra. Uh, Rapier is not too bad. For the second phase of Nishandra, it's a lot easier, but I think it's it's slightly slower, considering how fast the one beam Nishandra is. So let's just uh, jump right into it. First thing you'll notice, I'm on slightly under full health. You do this by doing a jump at the start of the throne of one pathway. You, would jump, you sort of run along the side and then jump onto the path, rather than running down straight onto the path. And you do that so you can enter the fight immediately using an old rage imp. Damage values don't matter, but just for the sake of things, 25 strength 50 dex or 40 strength 40 dex doesn't matter, same damage. Uh, RTSR, in case they set it up, Ring of Blades, Chloranthel, Vapor plus 10. Bandit Boots are an interesting one. There is a very few cases where having the boots on will let you survive and not having these trousers on causes you to die. However, they're incredibly rare. But you know, it doesn't doesn't really cost you any time to stick them on. So I do. Um, GPR first, because you ideally want your bright bow to last for both bosses. And then put an old radiant on the hotbar so that you can go in and immediately pop it. So, you want to enter from the far side of the fog gate, immediately lock on, pop the old Regent while straight into the side, look down and just spam attacks. This should cause him to miss you. If you start getting memed, roll away, pop the second old Regent or a life gem or whatever you have. And ideally you want to hit Defender before Watcher, so you can get rid of him and shield Watcher. Should then okay this is very rare RNG you can just mash attacks basically and she does that as long as you can tank it sprint after her to hit her and you should get it down relatively quickly at this point I swap to the keyblade pop the Estus rebuff you get life gems on the hotbar and then hold the cutscene skip Sprint forwards, running attack, R1, R1, R2, and then pop a life gem as she moves the scythe, could bait into a beam, running attack, R1, R1, R2, R2, then straight to the side as she turns, then try and get four counter hits here, and then a heavy, and he dies, and that's the one beam Nishandra. And a fairly decent Thrones example. That's about it. See ya.